For cheap and reliable, yes, when I say cheap, I mean cheap and reliable, check out the brand new coin sponsor, FIFACoinsale.com. You can find that in the link in the description. Don't forget to use the code Curtis for your 5% off. Gun on you two, Curtis Seven here for episode number ten of my Manchester United career mode, season number two, lads. Now this episode, lads, we got three massive games. Stoke away, which is not easy. We all know that. Uh, we we need payback up against Stoke, lads. Come on, they knocked us out of the Capital One Cup. I need revenge on Stoke. Uh, then we've got a game against Villa. I think it's Villa. But anyways, uh, we've got a top of the table clash against Zenit Saint Petersburg for the uh, top spot on the Champions League, and I really really want that so that's a big game so stick around for that and a big shout out to the guy in the last episode in the comment sections he said Curtis ever since you put the Santa hat on you have not lost the game and I'm like oh yeah that is so true so even if Christmas passes lads and I'm still undefeated this hat ain't coming off <laughs> nah I'm only kidding but anyways lads let's hop right into this Stoke game let's do this all right, lads, I switched up the players. I changed a lot of them, really, because a lot of them were fatigued. They're tired, so I made a lot of rotations here. Hernandez starting up front. We've got uh, Strootman and Rooney behind him. Really, I should be dropping Rooney. Look how tired he is. But I just need someone good quality to play behind Hernandez. Uh, Ross Barkley was too tired. So we've got Herrera, Zaha, Nani. Uh, we've got Rojo at left back, giving Luke Shaw a rest. And we've got Smalling and Jones in the middle with Raphael on the right. So uh, a lot of changes, but uh, good depth, if you ask me. But anyways, that's five minutes world class. You know the deal. You know what they say, you might be good, but can you do it on a cold, wet night in Stoke? We're about to find out if we can do it. <laughs> I love this possession game that we're playing recently. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. And Andes, oh, lovely. Zaha, can you play a little ball with Herrera? Tell you what, Herrera, lovely. And a Herrera, oh, he's put it over the bloody bar. Mame Juf, the ex-United player. Do we all remember him? I certainly do. He scored a goal in his debut at in front of the, in front of the Stratford end as well. Too bad his uh, career didn't work out. Had a good run at Blackburn though. Strootman, haven't been happy with you lately, and that's exactly why. Because you give it away, oh, you give the ball away way too much for my liking. Mame Juf is offside. I tell you what, I don't know about Strootman, lads. I really don't know about him. And a Herrera, he's got a bit of space. Can he work a little bit of magic? Herrera gets inside the box, and a Herrera. Oh. Strootman, Strootman, bit of space here. Strootman. Oh, Zaha! Come on, Wilf! Oh my gosh, lads. We're gonna make him pay. Oh, I'll tell you what, they've got some space here. Anatovic. Come on, lads. Oh, shit. Anatovic. 1 0 Stoke. I don't believe this. First chance they get, they score. It's always happened to me this season. Always happened. Come on, Strootman. You bloody owe me. Come on, Strootman. Have a shot. Straight at the keeper. Hernandez in a bit of space here. Finds Herrera. Herrera. Come on, Herrera. Can you get it to Rooney? Rooney in a bit of space. Waza. Oh, great save from Stecklenburg. Come on, lads. We can do this. I believe in us. Who's here? Spots out Strootman in space. Kevin Strootman. Strootman. Oh, Strootman again. He's so frustrating. Nani, come on Nani, get in behind, Hernandez at the back post, Hernandez, Robert Hooth, oh gosh lads, that was it, that was our chance I reckon, what a loss, there we go lads, game set match, <sighs> there goes the luck with the Christmas hat huh, <laughs> alright let's get to the next game, alright lads, the next game, we're at home at Old Trafford to Sunderland. Alright lads, got all the players who were rested in that game all back. We've got Adnan Yenazai back, we've got Di Maria back, Vidal, Barkley. This team, lads, I'm very confident. We've got Matt Tummels, Luke Shaw. Lads, we need three points in this game. Let's go. Oh, lovely ball. Luke Shaw. Look at this. Rooney. Come on, Di Maria. First time. Gets in. Two minutes. Sunderland haven't even touched the ball yet. Gets in. Di Maria. Player of the season so far. God, we missed him against Stoke. Honestly, we could have really done with a bit of pace up front. But hey, not complaining now. Look at that. First time as well. Get in, Di Maria. Come 
on, let's defend now. Defend. We've got the goal. Let's defend now. Rodwell. That's a lovely ball. Larson. Oh my god. It should be 1-1. One, one. Oh. Alright, lads. We haven't had to do much defensively. We've got to defend this corner now. Oh, Dave. Why are you running back like that, mate? You're scaring me. Let's get it out. Vidal. Can you find Di Maria over the top? I saw him open. He's got the pace. Di Maria, can he cut back on his left? Di Maria! Oh, Rooney! Barkley! Finish! Oh, Pantillimon with the save! Oh, got the corner. Zaha. Oh, Zaha. He's got the pace. Come on, Wilfred. Go for the shot! Zaha! Rooney! 2 now Gets in there. Got a bit lucky with the uh, Pantillimon pushing it straight back into Rooney. But, hey... They're the chances you need to make, lads. <sighs> to be honest, lads, I'm, we should be up about 3 or 4 nil. But, hey, this is the way these games work out. 2 nil. I ain't going to deny that. Get in. Oh, De Maria has been taken out. Zaha, can you play in Nani? Oh, come on, Nani. Come on, Nani. Score here. Nani! Oh, it's a lovely goal from Lewis Nani. Here I am, whinging that we should be 3 or 4 nil up. We are 3 nil up. Oh, Nani with the flips. Get in, lad. To be fair, it's quite obvious that Stoke now are going for it and they're just well open at the back. Just dominated here. Great play from Nani. And I'll tell you what, he's improving by game by game, lads. And he's scoring goals as well this season. Definitely happy with Nani. Gets in. There's the final whistle. Three points moving back up into the top four, hopefully. But anyways, lads, let's go on to the Champions League against Zenit St. Petersburg. So the last game of the episode, we're away against Zenit in uh, top of the table clash. It ain't going to be easy. All right, lads, still sticking with the 4-5-1 uh, formation. This one is just a little bit more defensive because I know uh, we're going to have we're going to need the possession against Zenit. So uh, that's why I've got Herrera, Daly, Blind, and Vidal in the midfield just for more uh, passing movement in the midfield. But anyways, lads, five minutes world class. You know the deal. Oh no, where is everyone? This is not the start that I asked for. Oh my god, how close was that? Come on, lads, get your shit together. Oh, come on, surely that's a foul. No. Oh, no. Oh, what a mistake. Vidal, have a shot. Make him pay. <sighs> Wasn't the best of shots, but I thought, hey, got to try my luck. I haven't had really chances at all this first half. Hulk, who's there? Luke Shaw in the back. Oh my gosh, they got the shot off. Must be done. Must be done. Oh my gosh, let's get it out. Rondon. Oh, it's a lovely back heel. Who's in there? Hummels. Get it out. Oh. Herrera. Can he find Nani? Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful ball. Is he onside? What happened there? As if you're not going to pay advantage for that. I was one on one. Oh my gosh, referee, you are kidding me. I was one on one, lads. That is poor. That is absolute poor from the referee. Rooney. Oh, here we go. Vidal. Vidal. Come on. Oh, Vidal. I should have went sweaty. Why didn't I go sweaty? Oh my gosh. Daily Blind was there. Oh my gosh. Vidal to take it. Who's in there? Hummels. Hummels. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Matt Hummels scored another goal for us, lads. He's on fire from corners this season. Get in, Matt Hummels. That's massive. Puts us 1-0 ahead now. Now we can sit back, uh, just pass the ball, put the possession on, and just wait now. Just wait. We've got the main goal. Well done, Hummels. Defending much better. All right, here we go, lads. Come on, hold on. Rondon. Hulk, watch that left foot. He's at the crossbar. Get it out. Oh, half time. My gosh, I'm lucky there. Hulk hitting the crossbar. Come on, lads. 45 minutes to go. We can finish on top of this group. Daily Blind. Lovely. Sees Rooney. Wazza! Wazza! Oh, my gosh. Rooney's sticker. Leg out, son. Could have been done and dusted. 2-0. Adnan Yanize. Oh, Adnan. Lovely. Come on, Adnan. Oh, referee. Naughty. Book him for that. Book him right now. He was off. Thank you. Great play from Adnan there. Oh, Rooney, Rooney, finds Adnan, 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 can you keep it? Stay on your feet, Adnan, yes! <laughs> Adnan Yanezay gets in. 
Oh, 2 0 up, lads. What a through ball from Rooney. What a finish from Adnan. Got behind the defender. I thought he was going to go down, but he didn't. His balance was fantastic. Stayed on his feet with his right foot as well. Lads, we could finish on top of the group. Stay in here. Oh, lovely. Well done, Luke Shaw. Here we go. Nani. Hernandez fresh off the bench. Well done. Ah, oh, Fellaini. Can he find Hernandez? Hernandez fresh off the bench. Hernandez! <laughs> oh no! No! Oh my gosh, he's missed. Nani, he ain't gonna miss. Nani, Nani. Oh, it's a great tackle there. Come on, Cheech. He's held up the ball. Oh my gosh, I thought I scored there with Hernandez. Get in. Three points. Someone's got in for an own goal. Yes, lads, we're finished on top of the table. Let's go have a look at the tables now. Get in. So there is confirmation, lads, of their Champions League. We finish on top of the group with 13 points, which is a fair effort. Only one draw and one loss. And Zenit is coming with us, unfortunately. Rosenberg and Inter Milan couldn't go through. But lads, top of the table now. We avoid all the big teams, which I'm really wrapped with. And uh, our goal difference was uh, six in the end. We scored 12, conceded six. So I'm very happy with that. Anyways, lads, let's take a look at the Premier League table. Anyways, lads, here is the Premier League table. Now we're back up to fourth spot after that after after that defeat to Stoke, which really costed us, lads. We could be there one point behind Chelsea now. But anyways, Norwich is not on top anymore. So uh, thanks for EA taking the tis, uh, the piss take before. But anyways, lads. Four points off top spot now. There's what? There's 15 games. There's about 18 games to go in the league. That is plenty of time to consolidate the champions title. Uh, lads, I want to finish top spot. Don't worry about that. But we've got stiff competition. Chelsea first, City second. And then, uh, yes, Norwich above us. But anyways, lads, next game in the Premier League. You're going to have to wait till the next episode. We've got Arsenal, who are six, who are looking for their usual fourth spot place, which is not going to be easy. It's going to be a massive game lads but make sure you stick around for that one but anyways lads we got the January transfer window coming up very 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 soon so I'm all ears lads I'm get your suggestions down there now not only do I want players to buy I need players to sell unfortunately lads I really want to sell Strutman he's had his time with us he's been with us for about a whole year now a whole season I'm just not liking him he's just gives the way gives the ball away way too much for my liking uh, it doesn't doesn't score much when I shoot, he puts it over the bar. He's meant to have great long-distance shooting, but for some reason, he's just not a good fit. I'd rather use Ander Herrera, Fellaini, the players that we already have. So that money for Strutman could go on a striker, you know, i.e. Cavani, Benzema, Lewandowski, you know. Get your suggestions, lads. You know, maybe we need some wingers because, unfortunately, like we've seen against Stoke, when Di Maria goes down, the depth isn't that great to replace uh, Di Maria. So someone a bit pacey that plays behind the striker, like, like a Quadrado, who's been linked with Man United. I'm thinking a player like that, maybe. I'm not too sure. Get your comments down below, lads. But anyways, lads, don't forget to fo uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those things which you can find in the link in the description. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care. Merry Christmas. Hope puts.